Valley Heights is a small township in New South Wales. The town lies within the Blue Mountains along one of the few mountain passages. These has been used long before Western settlers reached Australia. Original tribes lived and used the land to travel between the interior and the Sydney Basin. The first traces of permanent Western civilization came with the Valley Inn in 1832. This was one of many small establishments serving the people traveling through the Brew Mountains and the coming railroad. The government of New South Wales wanted a railroad to connect the towns of the Sydney Basin with the far western regions of the state. This became known as the Main Western Railway Line. Colonial politician Geoffrey Egger bought the Valley Inn and its lands in 1870 and used it as a private estate. Soon after he got a rail platform built opposite his house, which he named after himself, Eggers Platform. With a railway connection built, a small town slowly grew up around it. The town changed the platform's name to The Valley in 1877 and later in 1890 to Valley Heights. On January 31, 1914, the town got a big boost as the Valley Heights locomotive depot was opened. It served many of the stream trains operating on the line and continued to serve trains until the line was electrified in 1957. The building now housed the Valley Heights Railway Museum. But trains were not the only thing coming through the town. With time, the road grew in size, especially after the widespread adoption of cars, crossings over the Blue Mountains were needed. Nowadays, the main road is known as the Great Western Highway. Valley Heights was not the only small town that popped up around the passage and the railway. As the population grew, the towns began melding together. Today it's hard to see when you leave Valley Heights and enter Springwood or Sutton Valley. Today Valley Heights is a small part of the urban sprawl that nuzzles in between the mountains and the highway. It still has its rail connection to Sydney, but much of the surrounding mountains are now protected as part of the Blue Mountain National Park.